We've been looking at the story of Jacob as we are introducing God. And I thank you for joining me as we spend time look, learning about God, being introduced to God through these families. Jacob has encouraged his family to put away, his family to put away the idols, the foreign gods, and to serve God alone. And they've gone to Bethel. It's in Bethel that the next event happens. Genesis chapter 35, verse 9. Genesis 35, verse 9. Then God appeared to Jacob again when he came from Pat and Aram, and he blessed him. And God said to him, Your name is Jacob. Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel shall be your name. Thus he called his name Israel. God also said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and an assembly of nations shall come from you, and kings shall come forth from your loins. And the land which I gave to Abraham and Isaac, I will give to you, and I will give the land to your seed after you. Then God went up from him in the place where he had spoken to him, and Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he had spoken with him, a pillar of stone, and he poured out a drink offering on it, and he also poured oil on it. So Jacob named the place where God had spoken with him Bethel. Then they journeyed from Bethel, and there he came some distance to Ephrath. And Rachel gave birth, and she suffered severely in her labor. Now it happened that she was in severe labor, that the midwife said to her, Do not fear, for now you have another son. And now it happened, as her, as her soul was departing, for she died, that she named him Ben-Oni, but his father called him Benjamin. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is, Bethlehem. And Jacob set up a pillar over her grave, that is the pillar of Rachel's grave to this day. Then Israel journeyed on and pitched his tent beyond the tower of Eder. This is just another event in the life of Jacob. He has suffered loss in the death of a servant, now in the death of his beloved wife, Rachel. But yet even in that death, there is the joy of a new son, Benjamin. But the story before that is God saying, your name is not Jacob. Your name is Israel. And so we have the beginning of the nation of Israel. And God has said, I am going to bless you. I am going to be with you. A nation and assembly nation is going to come from you. Remember that I am God Almighty. This is, I think, a turning point. We really begin to see at this point that Jacob is the father of that great nation, Israel, through whom God would bring the Messiah, the Christ. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father, as we learn more and more about you as we read these stories, as we read the events of, of the lives of your people, Father, we see that Jacob understands that you are God and he is going to follow you. Father, help us to realize that you are God and help us to read your word and to follow. Father, when we, when we make mistakes, when we fall short, as Jacob sometimes does, Father, bring us back and thank you for the forgiveness that's in Christ. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's word. As always, I look forward to these. I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer will be that God will bless your day. <music>